Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to move on to learning sheet 8A. Uh, again, I usually give you an example and some notes in the margins um, on the learn by watching. And then I leave you to do the learn by sharing and practicing on your own. Uh, so I'm gonna briefly go over um, how I did this uh, learn by watching. Um, this is we're going to use the TM to deep process, um, but we're not just going to find the topic, main idea, and details. We're also going to start paraphrasing them, which is mean putting them into our own words. So, uh, the title is Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson was both a great baseball player and a great man. Throughout his 10-year 10, 10 career in baseball, he compiled a .311 lifetime batting average played in six World Series, and stole home 19 times. He was named Rookie of the Year in 1947 and MVP in 1949. All of these results would make any baseball player proud. Nevertheless, Jackie Robinson's greatest achievement was not on his bat or glove. Mr. Robinson will always be remembered as the first African-American man to play Major League Baseball. Okay, so using the TMD to TM to D process, we're going to find our topic first. And again, I like to use the title, um, but this, this particular uh, paragraph is about Jackie Robinson. So one or two words that tell what the paragraph about is about, that's what our topic is. And then our main idea is what the paragraph is mostly about. Um, it is about Jackie Robinson, but what specifically do they want us to know about Jackie Robinson? And that is that he was a great baseball player and a man. Um, so we're going to find three details that support that from our paragraph. Three things that say that Jackie Robinson was a great man. The first one um, that I wrote down, and of course, um, you're not limited to only the ones that I write. You can write um, any three details as long as they support your main idea. Um, the first one was that he played in six World Series. Um, so I wrote that here in the first uh, box, word for word. And then it also say it says that he was named Rookie of the Year in 1947. So I also wrote that here. And then the third detail that I took said that Mr. Robinson will always be remembered as the first African-American man to play Major League Baseball. And so I also wrote that word for word in the box. So on the bottom, you might be wondering, why would they give me another box to write main idea and detail when I just wrote it here? Well, this is the part where you're gonna paraphrase. And paraphrase means putting the information into your own words. So I'm going to look at my main idea and it says Jackie Robinson was a great baseball player and man. What is another way I can say that in my own words? Jackie Robinson was both an awesome ball player and human being. I substituted human being for man and I substituted awesome for great. And um, instead of just saying baseball player, I said ball player. So I changed it and now it's in my own words. Okay, the second uh, part this is right here. It's gonna, you're gonna put the details. You're gonna use the exact same details. You're not gonna put three new details. Um, so I'm gonna put this in my own words. Played in six World Series. Um, so I put he participated in six World Series. Um, there's no other way to say World Series. Okay, um, well, you probably could. We could say championship. He participated in six championships if you wanted to just go a little bit above uh, what I wrote here. Um, and then in detail two, he said um, he was named Rookie of the Year in 1947. So another way to say Rookie of the, rookie of the Year is basically best new player. He was the best new player in 1947. That's what a rookie is, a new player. And then the third detail that I wrote said, first African-American in Major League Baseball. So I said he was the first black person to play in a Major League team. 
Um, we're really limited on our words here, but it is in my own words. I did change some of that around, and um, that's really what I'm looking for. So I'm going to move on to the learn by sharing, and we're going to work on that one together. And It's not going to be as quickly because um, I didn't write it out already like I did this one. Learning sheet AA. So again, we're gonna read the paragraph and then we're gonna determine the topic, main idea, and details. Says Jackie Robinson continued. Prior to 1947, Major League Baseball was segregated. This meant that only white players played in the major leagues. Black athletes could only play in the Negro Leagues. The Negro Leagues included great teams like the Kansas City Monarchs, the Hilldale Giants, and the Homestead Grays. Many amazing athletes like Satchel Paige, James Cool Papa Bell, and Pepper Bassett played in the Negro Leagues. These players were good enough to be major league stars, but they never got to play because they were black. Okay, so the topic. Yes, they are talking about Jackie Robinson and it's easy for you to wanna write that, um, but they kind of didn't just talk about Jackie Robinson. They actually talked about some of the other players and and basically some of the other players before 1947 when baseball was still being segregated. So uh, I'm gonna say that the topic here is baseball before 1947. Okay. And then your main idea, again, is what this paragraph is mostly about. Um, so my main idea can usually be found in my title in the first sentence or the last sentence. And I actually did find mine in the first sentence. It says, prior to 1947, Major League Baseball was segregated. And um, that's before 1947, right? So prior to 1947 major league baseball was segregated and remember that the Main idea and details that go in the box are word for word from the paragraph. Okay, so I need three details that support um, my main idea. So prior to 1947, it was segregated. So basically, what does that mean? Black, black athletes could only play in the Negro Leagues. Black athletes could only play in the Negro Leagues. Okay, a second detail that I found to support my main idea is that the Negro Leagues included great teams like the Kansas City Monarchs, the Hilldale Giants, and the Homestead Grays. Okay. The Negro Leagues included great teams like the Kansas City Monarchs, and I'm gonna abbreviate a little bit, be just because I feel like I'm gonna run out of space. Um, the Hilldale Giants and the Homestead Grays. Okay, 
And a third detail that I found to support my main idea is that many uh, amazing athletes like Satchel Paige, James Cool Papa Bill, and Pepper Bassett played in the Negro Leagues. Okay. Um, many amazing athletes. Um, and I'm going to leave some of the pages out. I mean, some of the names of the players out. Uh, just so I can make room. Many amazing athletes um, played in the Negro Leagues. I'm sorry. Um, were not able to play in the Major Leagues. Were not able to play in the major leagues all right so down here at the bottom we're gonna paraphrase that means putting it in our own our own words um so another way to say prior to 1947 major league baseball was segregated well i know segregated means that um they were separated so I would say, and prior means before. So um, before 1947, um, black players couldn't play Major League Baseball. Black players couldn't Play major league baseball. Okay, then I'm going to move on to my first detail, and it says uh, black athletes could only play in the Negro Leagues. Um, another way to say that is that there used to be separate teams. Um, or for, for like black only. Um, let's say there used to be a separate baseball league. For black athletes okay and then here on detail two we have the Negro Leagues included great teams like the Kansas City Monarchs the Hilldale Giants and the Homestead Stead Grays um, and I can just um, summarize and paraphrase that at the same time and say that the Negro Leagues had several great teams. The Negro Leagues oops, had several great um, teams. And our last one says, many amazing athletes were not able to play in the major leagues. Um, I'm gonna switch up amazing with wonderful. So, uh, um, and athletes maybe with players, many, many wonderful black players. Um, were prohibited from playing in the major leagues.
leagues. Alrighty. So that is the learn by sharing, which is what we would call the we do. And then of course, I'm gonna leave you with the learn by practicing on your own. But before I leave you, I am gonna go ahead and read this paragraph to you because I do know that some of you guys struggle to read and you do have oral accommodations. And if that's you, then go ahead and keep listening. Jackie Robinson continued. As the first black person to play on a major league baseball team, Jackie Robinson suffered a lot of abuse. At first, his own team threatened to go on strike to stop him from playing with them. Other players called him racially insulting names. Sometimes, pitchers threw baseballs at him to try to frighten him. Some so-called fans sent him death threats. Mr. Robinson resisted the temptation to strike back at those who attacked him. He rose above all of the personal attacks and stayed focused on being a great player. He won the respect of both fans and fellow players. So um, before I leave you, just going to briefly go over again what you're supposed to be putting here. Here is your topic. This is going to be a couple of words um, about the paragraph that basically say what this paragraph is. Um, the main idea is what this paragraph is mostly about. Uh, we do know that it's about Jackie Robinson, but what specifically about Jackie Robinson? And then we're going to put three details here to support it. And then you're going to rewrite your main idea. You're not going to put a new one um, in your own words. And then the three details that you took word for word from the paragraph, you're going to write them in your own words. Okay, we're not looking for three new details here. We're just looking for you to take what you wrote in the box and put it in your own words. All right. Thanks, guys.